Now moving on viewers, we have uh, some breaking news coming in from Sambal as it has turned into a communal cauldron after a survey team arrived there to conduct the survey of uh, the Shahi Jama Masjid. A mob from a particular community gathered there. They opposed the survey that was being conducted and that resulted in a fierce escalation into stone pelting and violence. Now what we know so far is that this particular mob opposed the survey and pelted stones at the survey team and in response the police fired tear gas shells at the protesters. Now remember this, all of this started after Vishnu Shankar Jain filed a petition demanding a survey at this particular court saying that historically there was a temple right there. And after that, there was heavy security deployment. Yesterday, there were drones deployed in uh, and around the vicinity as Friday prayers were also held on Friday and Saturday, that was yesterday, the police maintained the situation from escalating. And today, as the survey team arrived to carry out the survey, the protesters numbering in hundreds gathered near the Shahi Jama Masjid and opposed the survey and the situation turned violent as this particular mob threw stones at the survey team, which was also accompanied by heavy police deployment. And in retaliation, the police fired tear gas shells to disperse the crowd. The survey at the Shahi Jama Masjid was scheduled following a court complaint claiming that the mosque was originally a temple. In fact, we have Ajay Dube also joining us live on this broadcast. Ajay, the situation remains tense. Tell us about the latest that's happening in Sambal. Uh, definitely these are very surprising visuals and what we are uh, watching in visuals and being informed by the police team there uh, that primary task of police is to uh, arrange security of the uh, legal team which is there to do the investigation is to do because is there to do the survey of the masjid and uh, the important most thing is that police was already prepared for this thing as we are watching in these visuals a uh, police is already there and uh, heavy deployment of police we have seen in visuals and uh, these policemen they are having uh, uh, their all guards are having their uh, lattes in their hand and uh, body protections and helmet also. And uh, what we are watching in visuals that uh, stone pelters, they are uh, throwing stones continuously on police team and they are trying to reach to the masjid so they can, uh, so that they can uh, influence the process of this investigation of uh, by the team made by the court. But the primary task right now is to uh, implement the peace and uh, that's what the local police and local administration is doing and important most, uh, primary important most task is uh, to identify those who have uh, done this uh, thing. We have seen these visuals, such visuals in Kanpur also. And after that, uh, while covering uh, that incident, I have seen posters on the road uh, by the police uh, identifying uh, the stone pelters. So uh, in Uttar Pradesh, uh, th these things will be watching soon. And uh, implementation of law and order, uh, Yogi Adnath is very clear and it's his uttermost priority. And in, these visuals are very surprising. And uh, this survey team, uh, they are also uh, right now in uh, front of the masjid and they are doing their task and a heavy police deployment we have seen over there uh, more uh, some uh, more police is being uh, prepared to send there and the other task is that uh, other important part is that uh, the higher authorities they are continuously following what is happening in Sambal uh, they are continuously uh, watching it and uh, the DGP of office and including ACS home. They are also watching this thing, what is happening right now in uh, Sambal. So uh, these are very surprising visuals and see uh, there are visuals where police uh, is uh, police is arresting and uh, taking custody of stone pelters. Such visuals we have seen and uh, uh, these visuals are, are very aggressive. Stone pelters are continuously throwing uh, stones on police and police is uh, trying to uh, save themselves also and take action also. Well, Ajay, what's even more shocking is that reports have said among the 24 people who have been bound down by the cops, one of them happens to be the father of the Samajwadi Party's Sambal MP. So there's clearly a political link as well. So tell us more about this. See, many stories are coming, many details are coming, yet to be approved, yet to be identified, and yet to be uh, clear, the, check the uh, the authority of the news. But the important most task is that police is right now doing investigation, and in, during this investigation, uh, police is also making sure that peace uh, shall remain there. And uh, uh, the visuals, they are very aggressive, and for these visuals, as we have seen, uh, uh, heavy deployment of police is there, and more police is being sent from the, uh, the touching uh, district 
districts uh, from the closer districts uh, police from rampur police from other districts also reaching there and the deployment of psc is also there so primary most task is to uh, implement the peace and uh, visuals as we can see the visuals are very aggressive the market is closed uh, the local resident they are inside their house and police is trying to control the scenario right now in uh, sambal Right, Ajay Dubey. Many thanks for joining me with those latest inputs uh, from Sambal. Well, that's the latest viewers. There's heavy police deployment in Sambal, and uh, the primary focus is to restore peace in this particular area because there was stone pelting and violence reported after a survey team reached the mosque.